Right now I'm watching. What you gotta do is get into it. The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is... Welcome back to the channel. It's Justin Parks. But anyway, I wanted to update you guys on my YouTube channel and what's going on with me. I just came back from vacation and I did a horrific job of scheduling what I need to do for my YouTube channel. So I'm sorry if you've been waiting for videos from me. I'm going to start working on new projects right now. So I wanted to give a little bit more transparency to some of my viewers. I've been known to have waves and do things to help grow my hair back and get my health back overall. But to keep it simple, lupus is a battle. You know, I have lupus and it affects every part of my body. You know, my skin gets affected. My hair gets affected. And that's what I want to talk about right now. So I tr I'm trying to grow my hair back again. You know, my hair is thinned out and um, it grows crazy and it's thin in some spots and then and, and it's just not growing right but it is growing it is progressively better than it was but i'm still working on it i shampoo my hair at least twice a week i oil it and i'm doing things to help it get better and i do smoothies i'm trying to perfect my diet having lupus you want to reduce your sodium intake you don't want to eat that much sugar you want to watch your cholesterol. You don't want too many calories in your diet or else you'll get fat. So it's a lot of things you got to do to keep your health better with lupus. And not to mention, I got doctor's appointments. I got to watch my medications and things like that. So it's a lot going on in my life. But I just wanted to offer a little bit of transparency. I am trying to grow my hair back, but it's not growing back like it was. So that's the reason why I haven't released any videos about how I grew my hair back. But to be transparent, um, it's not growing back the way I would like, and it's not waving up. I got like a different texture of hair. It's very weird. My hair is a different texture on the top, and it's not waving up like it should be. So I just wanted to throw this in the video, give transparency to my viewers who know I could snap on the waves. I wanted to show you I'm still fighting. I'm still trying to get my hair back. I'm still trying to get waves. I brush my hair. You know, I'm doing a lot of stuff to promote hair, new hair growth as well as get waves. I had a subscriber ask me, could I do a video about exercises people with lupus can do? Okay, and my response to that comment is you have to figure out what you can do it doesn't matter if you have lupus or you don't everybody is different i can't give a one size fit all generalized plan to everybody on earth <laughs> what they should do the thing is you have to get into the gym and you have to figure out what can you individually do are you in a wheelchair do you have a cast on your arm you have to figure out what can you do in the gym and you have to be smart about it don't hurt yourself don't work out when you're sleepy you know things like that it's a trial and error thing you have to practice this and you have to do it consistently you know you have to gauge what can your body do individually. Now, I can help you. I can show you how different exercises. I can show you what could you try in the gym. But as for me telling you specifically, individually, what to do, I really can't do that. You got to go in and try. And, you know, it's a trial and error thing. So I recommend you trying everything. Do what you can do, but don't hurt yourself. And don't put yourself in a situation to get hurt. So that's my best response for that. Now, I got lupus and I do everything. You know, I, I don't put any kind of limitations on my exercise. You know, the only things that I don't do is the things that I can't do. You know, a lot of you know I got a right knee injury. I can't do lunges and sometimes I can't squat properly, but I, I make the best of what I got. So... Do everything. That's my advice. Exercise in general, 
is healthy for the human body. It's good for you. We have a long life to live, you know, 70, 89 years. I don't know what's the average uh, lifespan today is, but you have your body for a long time. So the body needs to be challenged daily. I re recommend doing anything. It's only going to improve your health. So don't put limits on yourself. It's all in your mind. Don't hurt yourself, of course, but try to do everything. Yes. And for my, I want to answer this question for a long time. As it goes, as it comes to protein, how much protein <laughs> powder do I take? The answer is I do not take protein. You can get some really good substantial gains without taking protein. You know, uh, I don't take protein because I have lupus and with lupus comes kidney disease. Um, too much protein for a healthy individual is bad. You know, you can uh, put yourself in a real bad situation by taking too much protein powder. And I think regular protein through meat is too bad. So too much protein in general is bad for the kidney because the kidney has to break that protein down and too much can harm the kidney actually. So I don't take protein powder at all. You know, I get my protein through meat and it, it's not much at all. It's probably around... Uh, 50, 60, 70 grams or so per day. I really don't track my protein intake, but I, it's times I do. You know, in general, protein does make me look better, I believe, you know, compared to not eating protein. But for my kidney's sake, for my kidney's health, I don't take in protein. I'm not a professional bodybuilder. But like I said before, in the past, I have taken protein and I looked real good when I take protein, but you don't need protein. You still can get some pretty impressive gains without taking protein powders and anything like that. So I don't take protein powders and, you know, it's totally up to you. Every, it's, that's another individual thing. You got to decide if you want to take protein or not. But do you need protein? No, just want to have a regular beach body and you want to look real good. You don't necessarily need protein or protein powder, I should say. From April 19th through April 26th, I'm doing a week of no meat. So I'm doing this to improve my health. There are pros and cons to not eating meat. Meat is a superb protein source, but on the other hand, Meat has inflammation if you eat it in big quantities. So every time you eat meat, you're eating inflammation, you know, from my understanding. So I want to eat nothing but fruits and vegetables, clean my body out. It's going to help my skin. Hopefully I can grow my hair back and um, I can get gains in the gym. So I'm going seven days only eating fruits and vegetables, um, no dairy, anything like that, no meat, giving my body a chance to heal and repair. And I want to see what it does. It's a lot of good things happen when you eat fruits and vegetables. Why not go seven days at least eating fruits and vegetables and see what happens. I want to improve my health at the end of the day. There's nothing more important. We often eat because food tastes good. We eat because everybody else is eating a certain thing. So I want to go against the grain. I want to eat what's best for my body. And I want to look good. I want to feel good. And I want to see those great results. So if you want to be a part of this, you can follow me on Facebook. Join my Facebook group called Justin Parks Training. I'm going to be posting my foods and everything so you can join it and give you ideas. You could be a part of my community. I post my working out stuff way in Wednesdays. I do a lot of things that to help you reach your fitness goals. So if you want to be a part of that, check me out on Facebook. Also, if you want to follow me and you don't want to miss nothing here on YouTube, the best way not to miss anything here on YouTube is a subscription. So subscribe. That's all I got for you in this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. It's Justin Parks.